Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. AB is equal to 12 and A plus B is equal to 2. We need to find all possible values of A and B. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now, from this equation 2, we find the value of B. So, we move this A to the right hand side. Then, B will be equal to 2 minus A. Now, in this equation 1, we replace this B with this value of B, 2 minus A. Then, this equation 1 will become A times value of B is 2 minus A is equal to 12. Now, a times 2, 2a and a times negative a, negative a squared is equal to 12. We move these two terms to the right hand side, then this equation will become positive a squared minus 2 times a plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, A is equal to negative value of B is negative 2 plus or minus square root of in place of B squared, we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times in place of A, we write 1 times in place of C, we write 12 divided by 2 times in place of A, we write 1. Next, A is equal to negative times negative 2 will become positive 2 plus or minus square root of this negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 12 will become 48 divided by 2 times 1, 2. Next, A is equal to 2 plus minus square root of this 4 minus 48 will become negative 44 divided by 2. Next, A is equal to 2 plus or minus this square root of negative 44 can be written as the square root of 4 times 11 times negative 1 divided by 2. Next, A is equal to 2 plus minus. Now, this 4 times 11 times uh, negative 1 can be written as the square root of 4 times square root of 11 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. Next, A is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 and a square root of 11. This is square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, we replace this the square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2. Next, a is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor and in bracket left 1 plus minus root 11 times i divided by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, 2 values of A. A1 is equal to 1 plus uh, root 11i and A2 is equal to 1 minus root 11i. Now, to find the values of uh, B, we recall the equation. We recall this equation B is equal to 2 minus A.
we recall this equation b is equal to 2 minus a b is equal to 2 minus a. So, when a is equal to this value 1 plus root 11 i then b will be equal to 2 minus value of a is 1 plus root 11 i like b is equal to 2 negative times 1 will become negative 1 and negative times the plus root 11 i will become negative root 11 i and b is equal to 2 minus 1 1 minus root 11 i. So, when a is equal to 1 plus root 11 i then b will be equal to 1 minus root 11 i. Now, when a is equal to 1 minus root 11 i, then b will be equal to 2 minus value of a is 1 minus root 11 i and b is equal to 2 negative times 1 negative 1 and negative times negative root 11 i will become plus root 11 i. Next, b is equal to 2 minus 1, 1 plus root 11 i. So, when a is equal to 1 minus root 11 i, then b will be equal to 1 plus root 11 i. So, from here we get two pairs of solutions a comma b is equal to the first pair is 1 plus root 11 i comma 1 minus root 11 i. And the second pair is 1 minus root 11 i comma 1 plus root 11 i. Now, let us verify these values of a and b. To verify we use these original equations, first equation is a times b is equal to 12 and second equation is a plus b is equal to 2. First we verify this pair. So, this a times b will become 1 plus root 11 i times 1 minus root 11 i is it equal to 12. Now, by using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This uh, 1 plus root 11 i times uh, 1 minus root 11 i will become 1 squared minus root 11 i squared is it equal to 12. Now, 1 squared is 1 minus root 11 square will become 11 times i squared is it equal to 12. Next, 1 minus 11 times this uh, i squared i squared is equal to negative 1. So, we replace this uh, i squared with negative 1 is it equal to 12. Next, 1 negative 11 times negative 1 will become plus 11 is it equal to 12 and 1 plus 11 12 is equal to 12 you can see that the uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now, we check this pair in this equation. In place of a we write uh, 1 plus root 11 i plus in place of b we write this 1 minus root 11 i is it equal to 2. 
so this uh, negative root 11 i will be cancelled out with this positive root 11 i and uh, this one plus this one will become 2 is equal to 2 you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means uh, this pair 1 plus root 11 i and 1 minus root 11 i is a valid solution and in the same way if we verify this pair 1 minus root 11 i comma 1 plus root 11 i this is also a valid solution so we have two pairs of solutions of this equation